Oh, thank God. I was so scared I wasn't taping. Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my Y'all Fest 2015 announcement and TBR. So I will be attending Y'all Fest this year. Y'all Fest is November 13th and 14th of this year and it takes place in Charleston, South Carolina. This is a free event and it focuses all around YA books and YA authors. I am so excited. I've never attended either Y'all West or Y'all Fest and I'm looking forward to it so, so much and so many booktubers are attending this year. I will be staying with the girls of the Wolf Pack as well as Kristen from Cap A9X and there's going to be a ton of other people attending that are also going to be down there at the same time. I don't know all of them and I don't want to kind of spoil it if they're going to announce it but let me just tell you that a lot of booktubers are going to be there. I think I know of at least 25. I am so excited to just hang out with everybody. I'm more excited to hang out with all the booktubers that are going to be there than to actually see the authors. Like obviously I'm excited to see the authors and to get my book signed and everything else but... I am so excited to hang out with all the booktubers. I can't even contain my joy. It's over two months away and I'm still really excited. So I will post all the information for Y'all Fest down below so you can go and check out the author lineup and if you want to attend and everything like that. So I was perusing the author lineup and I discovered that there are some books by some authors that I want to read before going to Y'all Fest. They've been books that I've had on my TBR for a while. Some of them that I own and some of them that I do not, but there are just books that I want to have read before I go, hopefully. So this is my tentative TBR for Y'all Fest. The first book is technically a series and that is The School of Good and Evil by Soman Shinani. I've heard amazing things about this middle grade series. Adriana from Perpetual Pages loves it and cannot stop talking about it and the covers are stunning and she keeps saying how amazing it is and I just really want to read it. I was thinking about checking it out from the library but honestly these covers are so pretty and I know I'm going to love this story that I think I'm just going to buy them. Uh, no shame. Kind of shame, but no shame. The second author is Ryan Groudon, and I actually do own a book by her, and that is Wolf by Wolf. I actually got this one at BEA, but I didn't manage to get it signed or anything when I was there. But she also wrote The Walled City, and I would love to read both of them, but I think I'll at least for sure get to Wolf by Wolf, but I've heard really good things about her. I know that Max from Meldon Books really likes her, so I'm interested to see what I feel about this one, and hopefully get it read before Y'all Fest. The next author is Katie McGarry, and I believe she's more of a new adult author, and she has a couple series out, but the one that I really want to get to is Nowhere But Here. This is a new adult about a biker gang, kind of, and it sounds like kind of Sons of Anarchy. I've heard some mixed things about it, but ultimately I think I'm going to enjoy it. I want to read it. A lot of people that I know have read it and enjoyed it, so I want to get to that one before Y'all Fest. And then we have Brandon Sanderson, and I own a few books by him, but I want to finish the Mistborn series, hopefully, before seeing him at Y'all Fest. He is going to be one of the keynote speakers, and I would love to read more by him. I also own Warbreaker, but I don't think I'm going to get to that one. There's a lot of books I have to read, and his books in particular are chunky, but I'm hoping to finish the Mistborn series. I've already read The Final Empire, which is book one. I just need to buy books two and three, have a lot of emotions about it, because I know they're going to stomp on my heart numerous times and I'm trying to put them off kind of because I don't want the series to end like already but I know I just need to finish them so that I don't get spoiled like standing in line or something for his signing. That would be awful. Then we have An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. This one has been hugely popular on booktube. You guys have already heard of it but I have not read this one yet. It's been sitting on my shelf. I was waiting for the hype to die down. I think the hype is officially kind of down to a normal level so I will hopefully be picking this one up soon, but it sounds like it's gonna be right up my alley and I'd really love to read it before seeing her. And the last one is a book that's been on my shelf for some time and that is Codename Verity by Elizabeth Bean. And this is a historical fiction that takes place around World War II. I heard it has amazing female friendship in there and I've just heard amazing things and I love reading historical fiction in the fall. So it's the perfect time for me to pick this up. I would love to also read Rose Under Fire, I think is her other one. I think she has two more books that are kind of companions to this potentially, or one is a companion, whatever. She has other books, but this one I want to get read for sure before seeing her. It's been on my shelf for a very long time. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it, and I definitely want to pick it up before seeing her. So that is it for my Y'all Fest TBR. Comment down below and let me know if you guys are attending Y'all Fest. I would love to see you guys. I would love to hang out. I'm just interested, honestly, in going down there and hanging out with other book people. That's like my main goal. So I'll mention this again before closer to Y'all Fest, but if you guys are going down there and if you see me or anything, please, please, please come say hi to me. I just want to hang out. I just want to go get lunch and like go get coffee and like hang out with our books and like pet them and like gush about the authors. Like seriously, it's all I want to do. So if you are attending Y'all Fest, comment down below and let me know. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!